Well, this rain has the potential to bring a similar scene to the weekend. That's right. Chicago could be underwater again. It was actually so bad on Sunday, the city had to reverse the flow of the river. Natalie Bonke joins us now with more on uh, all of that. Nat? Yeah, and there was some major concern over doing just that. That decision made by the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District of Greater Chicago. They sent the river into Lake Michigan, mostly because we get most of our drinking water from the lake. There was concern because you know, the river isn't the cleanest. The district says the reversal was needed because the river was exceeding the elevation of Lake Michigan. And you can see it here in this video. It was already taking over parts of the river walk. The reclamation district added opening the gates not only provides protection from flooding, it allows for more capacity for stormwater, which makes sense. The district cannot open the gates and reverse the flow whenever it wants, only when the river level is above the lake level. In a statement, the district says if they had opened that uh, the gates earlier, Lake Michigan would have had a tsunami effect, if you can imagine it, overtaking the river and flooding everything in its path in downtown Chicago and along the waterways, totally decimating the river walk and municipalities downstream. It adds the destruction would be unimaginable. Now, with more rain on the way, it's very possible the flow of the river will need to be reversed again, but for right now, the district is just asking you to conserve water so the sewers don't get overwhelmed. So that means maybe wait to take a shower, wait to water the lawn, wait to uh, do your laundry for now. Corey and Dawn. Okay.